as they have widened this lead to eight now. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate, this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. Two. two and one. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Bases are empty here, nobody out. <laughs> Leaves a change up high for a strike. Well, that change up right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that change up. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four to Freeman as he'll work the walk. Wow, all I know is these guys don't need but any more help to get on base. Believe it or not, that's the first walk they've gotten. They've done all their damage the hard way. See if they can add to it here. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Two for three with a double on his line so far. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. A runner at first with no outs here. Hey. Fastball called for strike two. A pause and the 0 2. Hit back up the middle. No problem here, one away. Third baseman number double zero. Striding in Joel once again, Koo. Joel Koo. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball down near the shoe tops. One out and a runner on second base. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Here's the one and one delivery. And that misses two and one. Well, I don't know how he missed that pitch. That ball's in the zone a long time, but he missed it. I guess that happens. Boy, man, I tell you, that looked like a good pitch right there. That looked like that pitch was in the zone. He just missed it. Set to deliver on two and one. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. Set. Here's the 3 1. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Snuck that high, hard one by him without a swing, but that's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. 
It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when now you batting. do it with a guy in scoring Second position. Baseman. Those are the times Ray you really Turner. want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Ninth inning coming up. The Mariners lead it 10 to 2. Back now in the beautiful Pacific Northwest as we're set for what's left of this one from Safeco Field. So here's Francisco Lindor now. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Man, summer's almost here. Temperatures are heating up. The kids are out of school. What better way to spend those summer nights than here at the ballpark with a six or ten game mini plan? You'll save as much as 30% as compared to buying individual tickets alone. How's that for a summer saving? Visit any stadium ticket window for mini plan information. Fans, what better way to spend a summer in Seattle than with a 16-game season ticket plan? You can see such great teams as the Yankees and Red Sox, as well as the Mariners, the American League West rivals, the Angels, A's, and Rangers. For more information, stop by any. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. The 0-1. 
Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. The batter, right fielder. Here's Mark Trumbo now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. The 0 1 pitch. Liner towards second. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. That's the sixth hit of the night. They haven't hit a lot of balls hard. That's why that one stood out. That was one of the first ones that really they squared up all Santana. night off of him. Here's Carlos Santana now. Yeah, Strasburg will get ahead of him here with strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Runner at first here, one man out. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. Ready for another chance? It? Jose Very Ramirez. Good. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. 4 1. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. A fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball oh, is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. Two out with the man at first. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. And this is fouled at the plate. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Too high, ball three. And he'll try and end it here with an even 100 pitches. What an out at 100 pitches, and here we are. Getting... And he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. Yeah, and sometimes you just need a guy to go out there and battle. It doesn't have to be pretty all the time, but just good enough to get the job done. Well, this guy, he was a heck of a lot better than that, going the entire nine innings, saving his bullpen, and getting the win. 10 to 2 the final in this game. Steven Strasburg earns his eighth victory of the season, turning in a very strong complete game effort. Carlos Carrasco allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. Our For more, don't forget tonight. to check First out the shownation.com. Mariners. Ten runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For Cleveland, two runs, six hits, one error. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 22 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue Royal Brom Way and Edgar Martinez Drive.